Welcome back to Not Timmy 66. How's everybody doing, man? Hope everybody's having a good day. In today's video, in today's episode, we're going to talk about LLV training. We're also going to talk about some of the cultural issues that I noticed in one day at the post office. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. So you might think, man, it's been one day, he did one shadow day and he's already bitching and complaining. That's not it at all, guys. I'm still 100% positive about this job. It's not gonna be easy, I can guarantee you that much. Um, but I had some time this morning. I got to sleep in, I'm well rested. Um, and in an hour and a half, I have my LLV training, which is the long life vehicle training. Hopefully that won't take all day. And then I got three days off to kind of ponder and think about things. But this morning, I was up and I was watching um, some CCA videos. There's a lot of them out there, a lot of good ones. And there's a lot of crap out there, guys. I know there's a lot of people online that are bitching about, don't do CCA no matter what you do. They work you to death. They do this, they do that, they do whatever. But I want to talk about an issue that reared its head yesterday. And it reared its head yesterday, right away. And that is the post office's difference between managers and workers, supervisors and carriers, right? And I wanna talk about what I was warned about right off the get-go. And why some of it doesn't really make much sense to me. Doesn't make much sense at all, man. So for those of you that don't hang on my every word and watch every single video that I post, I don't know why you wouldn't, but for that very small amount of people that, you know, don't make Not Timmy 66 a regular viewing habit, you might notice that in one of my previous videos that I'm gonna recap that when I was driving by the office, it was my dry run video. I was driving by the office and I was like, wow guys, look at this, man, they got, a marquee outside with a job fair, right? Now hiring at the post office. Usually, typically, you know, you think a postal job is something that you uh, really have to kind of search for a little bit more. But no, man, they got marquees out there hiring out the wazoo right now, right? And I know one of the reasons why they're hiring right outside the wazoo or right out the wazoo. I'll let you know what it is, man. It's turnover. It's a high turnover rate of people just starting. I can tell you that they've lost four or five CCAs in my office that I'm in in the last month. Why is that? So you say, great government job, man. Awesome job. Great benefits, union, retirement, a pension plan, a 401k plan that's really good, medical benefits, awesome medical benefits. Why are they quitting? Why are they quitting so early? Why are they not making it even to regular employee? Why are they quitting while they're still a CCA? You know, when they're in their probationary period. I'll tell you why. From the day you hit the door, you're pushed. You are pushed to go fast. I was warned about this like within the first 20 minutes I was at work. They're going to push you. They're going to begin pushing you to go faster. Why did you do things this way? Why did you do things that way? Now your supervisor or your manager may be really, really cool, right? Maybe awesome person, but I think they get pressure from above them. This rolls downhill and you know where it stops with the new employee. And most people today with the job market that's out there are probably not gonna put up with that shit, man. They're not gonna put up with as much of it. Let's put it that way. So. Here's my question. You've got a loop. 
here's the loop. You've got, we need people. We're understaffed. Our people are overworked. We're going to hire in masses. We're going to bring these folks in. We're going to train them. And we're going to get them in and get them going. And then when you get out to your office, you're getting pushed out the door, man. You're getting pushed hard. You're getting pushed to get the job done. You're getting pushed to get the job done right. Get it done quickly. Why did you do that? And you're quitting. So then, the offices are going, man, we need more people. And so the post office goes, well, all right, let's hire some more. Let's do another hiring fair, right? Let's, let's, let's get people in there. Is it like throwing shit at the wall to see what'll stick? That's what it makes me think of, man. So if you don't go into this with the right mentality, if you don't go into this with the right mindset, if you don't go into this with the idea that it's going to be difficult and it's going to be hard, and I know it's going to be hard for me. I know it is. I'm lucky as far as the physical side of things because I worked at Am yeah, I worked at Amazon. I worked at FedEx Ground. So I've done a lot of 12 hour days. I've done a lot of walking. I've done a lot of driving. I've done a lot of package delivery. So, you know, as far as the physical, physical side of the job, I kind of got that an edge on that a little bit. I'm not saying I'm Superman or in any perfect shape, but I've got a little bit less to worry about than someone that's coming in from say an office job is really not used to it, right? The heat, the cold, the elements, all those things. So I kind of got that in my favor a little bit, but the rest of it, I don't. So you got to have the right mental attitude. And we're going to talk about that mental attitude. What you need to have, man. What you've got to keep in mind. When you're getting faced with all this shit. Because that's what it is. It's BS, man. And a lot of it's just a head game. Just grabbing the water here, guys. While I get ready for this fun and games that are about ready to happen and we're gonna get the heck out of Dodge man I don't know if they provide water out there or not it's kind of warm today right in the 90s so grab a little bit of water throw you guys up here bear with me sorry for the camera work so what kind of mental attitude do we need man what kind of preparedness do we have to have I can tell you this much and maybe, Wonderful. maybe honestly, this is why I kind of like the post office. It's kind of a military mindset. If you've never been in the military before, you know, that's one of the things that you got to kind of keep in mind that it's a head game, right? It's a head game. So I got my GPS all set up and everything. Good to go. So I can get there on time. Anyway, it's a head game, guys. It's a mental game. But there's some things that you can do, in my humble, humble opinion, to prepare yourself for the head game. And that's some simple things that you guys might already be doing already. Okay? One of them is get plenty of rest. A good mental attitude has a lot to do with how you feel. Right? Eat right. The next right on the Brookdale Drive. Then turn right onto Whispering Lane. Sleep well. As much sleep as you can get, know you're going to be working a lot. And that's going to go a long way. So you're not putting crap in your body and you're eating right and things like that. Especially at my age, if you're eating right and you're doing the things that you're supposed to do as far as that goes, then your mental attitude is going to be a lot better. I found. Don't, don't do the things I did and do it the hard way, where you have to kind of find out the hard way and you discover it late in life like I did. Dude, and guys, and dudettes, when I was a younger man, believe me, I did my share of partying and I did my share of unhealthy things, shall we say. But that's all changed. Anyway, so back, I, I get distracted so easy. Mental attitude is key to a lot of this. And a good way to prepare yourself mentally for what's coming... I'm sorry for my GPS, guys. I have to have it going just to know where I'm heading to go to this training. But a good mental attitude is is going to come from some things that you can do, right? 
And keep in mind the end game. That's the other part of it. Besides eating right and, and staying as physically fit as you possibly can, knowing your limitations and things like that, keep the end goal in mind. If it's if it's looking at your family and knowing that you're providing for them, or if it's, in, you know, in my case, it's that first, and then it's looking at the Can-Am Spider and knowing that that's in your future and that you're going to have some of the things that you really want to do in life, keep those things in the front of your mind and don't let some manager or supervisor who's being pushed from their boss above make you go faster, make you quit and give up. Just don't do it. But also... Being forewarned is important. So it's important that you know what you're getting yourself into and you are getting yourself into that kind of a situation. So, yeah. I'm going to get out here on the interstate a little bit more where this thing isn't uh, going to be yakking at us so much and interrupting me every five seconds. I'll be right back, guys. So is it <clears throat> fair that we should have to put up with that kind of crap? I mean, it's already a hard enough job, right? Is it fair? Well, no. Is it a reality? Yes. And it may be different for you. It may be. Some offices may be better than others. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Northeast Loop 820. Now you know where I'm going. They, uh... Some offices are not as bad as others. Some offices are a lot better than others, and some are terrible. That's what I've heard. That's the get go. That's the gist that I know so far. So keep take that the in next mind. right onto Northeast Loop 820. Oh my gosh! So keep that in mind as well. Keep that in mind as well. It's real important. Okay, guys. So I got about 3.5 miles before it starts talking again. So yeah, mental attitude is important, and, and the fairness of it, throw that out the window. You know what you signed up for. If you're doing this, then just know what you're getting into. Know that your end game is more important than any supervisor. And be tough, man. Don't let, and be positive. Don't let anybody try to push you out of a really good, long-lasting job that you can have a career for the rest of your life in, man. Just don't let them do it. It's not fair to you. They don't care at the end of the day. Think of it this way. At the end of the day, they still got their job. They made it through their 90 days. They've done their, most of them haven't even done mail carrying work. But they've done whatever it is they've had to do to get to where they are. Don't let somebody push you out of a good paying, life providing, as far as income goes, job. Because you get a case of the ass, right? Keep that attitude in a mental light to where you know what your end game is. That's the best advice I know how to give you. How easy is that to do? Probably not that easy, and it's not going to be easy for me. I'm not going to lie and sit there and tell you, oh, yeah, I just breezed right through it. You're going to see days where I'm going to be like, oh, my God, what did I sign up for? And there's times, honestly, where I think about it. I think, man, I'm not going to have any time at home. I'm going to be working all the time. I'm going to be doing this. You know, so I've had my little pity parties where I feel sorry for myself. I'm human just like everybody else. But I keep in mind the big picture at the end of the day, man. And keep in mind some things else. You can move to different jobs once you are in. Just because you start as a CCA, an RCA, um, a clerk, a mail handler, whatever. There's all kinds of opportunities within the post office, both union and non-union. So keep that in mind as well. You just got to get through it, right? And that's the big thing that I want to warn everybody about in today's video is get through it. Part of me getting through it today is going to be doing this uh, LLV training. Um, it's just another thing. It's just, just another thing. That, I mean, it's driving a car on the wrong side. Um, our truck. Basically, what an LLV is, guys, just so you know, it was built like back in the 80s. It's really old, really old. And it's really a Chevy S10, okay? Little Chevy S10 pickup truck that they stuck a box on the back of and changed the wheel ratio a little bit, or the axle ratio, whatever. I'm not technically the most perfect person as far as that goes. But that's what they are. So they're old. 
But you gotta go through it, man. You getting paid? I'm getting paid for it anyway. So what am I worried? I'm not really worried about much, right? You just gotta In go half a mile, it. keep left to stay on I-820 West. Just gotta go for it, man. Look at it as an adventure, like I do. Look at it as a challenge. Look at it as an opportunity for you and your family, or just yourself, you and your friends, like, to get the things that you want. Keep out of left life. to stay on I-820 West. Oh my God! Sorry. Uh, to uh, get the things that you want out of life. Put a kid through college. You know, whatever. All those things are what are important, man. So I'll come back after a little while here and wrap up this video. I'm going to do some LLV training. I'm going to try to get some footage in. I don't know if I can or not, but I'm going to try. Show you guys what it looks like. And uh, get this done. That I got three days off. Which I'm sure I'll think of something else crazy, but I thought this might be a good topic for a video for anybody that might be interested in coming into the post office. What to expect, what you're, what you're, what you're going to look at. And, I, and I'm sorry if I'm trying to paint a scary picture for you guys. Um, that's really not my intention. I'm just trying to be realistic and let you know, guess what? There's going to be, <laughs> there's going to be some crap thrown your way, for lack of a better word. Um, and it's all in how you deal with it. I'll give you one form of advice right now. Anytime they tell me, not Timmy, why did you do things this way? Not Timmy, why are you so slow? Not Timmy, what time are you going to be back to the station? Not Timmy, this, that, the other thing. I'm going to say I'm doing the best I can. I'm not going to be argumentative. I'm not going to, because then they can say, oh, you're arguing with me. He's argumentative. He has an attitude problem. That's not it. But I'm going to be very as politely as I possibly can say. I'm doing the best I can, man. Um, uh, and I'm doing the best I can safely. Do not forget that word. I'm doing the best I can to perform my job safely. That's all you can do. All, at the end of the day, all you can do is all you can do. So don't let it get under your skin. Don't let it bother you. Just don't, man. So the right physical and mental attitude are going to go a long way. Um, physically, I mean, making sure that you're in the best shape you possibly can be. You know, if you know you're going to take this job, guys, maybe start doing some walking. Make sure that you find a decent pair of shoes that you can walk a long time in to make yourself as comfortable as possible. Make sure you stay hydrated. Make sure that you're eating the right things and that you're staying nutritious. And Lord knows, guys, I am not the most nutritious guy in the world, right? I mean, Whataburger and McDonald's and all kinds of crap I put in my system, it don't help much. But if you eat right, get plenty of rest, it'll help your mental attitude. And your mental attitude is going to be key to making sure that you can succeed. Don't set yourself up for failure by making yourself... Um, vulnerable to the elements and things like that especially if you never worked a job like this before just be prepared for that and mentally that goes a long way and knowing what you're getting into goes a long way as well it really does it helps you to um, understand and make some decisions as to if this is something that I really want to do or if this is something that you know it's probably not for me for whatever reason but if you're looking at getting into something like this, those are some key things when you start out that you really need to uh, consider. You know, and also like the mental side of it, it's not that difficult. It's just getting used to the way that they process mail. There's terminology you'll get used to. There's, you know, so as far as the job function itself and stuff like that, there's nothing really hard about it. Uh, I heard one CCA that does it has a YouTube channel put it this way. This is the easiest and the hardest job you'll ever have. And in my opinion, the hardest part of the job is you. Some of the hardest things to overcome are going to be your own mental capacities and your attitude. That's important, guys. Real important. Hi right, guys, I've arrived. I thought I would show you a little bit of what the course looks like. There's the course. Not huge. 
right? And there's a water park, so I guess if we get too hot, we all get to go down the slides. I don't know. But yeah, this is the uh, White Settlement office, and this is the uh, lineup for the driver's training, man. I'll be back in a little bit and show you guys some more. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Let me go ahead and I'm going to wrap it up here in a minute. But I just kind of want to let everybody know what the driver's training was like. It wasn't hard. The uh, LLVs are very, very easy to drive. There's nothing much to them. Um, we started out by just kind of doing a walk around, familiarizing yourself with some of the, uh, I guess, components of the vehicle and what to check for, tires, you know, horn works, lights work, all that good stuff. And then um, they introduce you to the inside of the vehicle, which guys ain't much. Not on the LLVs. You know, you got your basic controls. They're just kind of located in different areas. Um, so that part of it was not hard. Then they put you in the vehicle and you, excuse me, and you get to uh, start up, check your mirrors, make sure everything's okay. It does have seven mirrors on it, which is kind of cool. You pretty much can see there's only a few blind spots. Um, but again, it's nothing that's real hard. It's an automatic. It's not a stick shift. So you go around a course. They take you through the course the first time. You pre they've got these mailboxes set up. So you learn how close you can get to the mailboxes and all that good stuff. And what to do if there's obstacles, trash cans. Because Lord knows everybody... When they set their trash out to the curb, set it right in front of the mailbox like 90% of the time. You learn how to do that. You learn how to do a cul-de-sac. Um, you learn how to just handle different things. Then they make you go through it and they watch, watch you. Once you pass that part of it, which I made it through the first time, not bragging, just saying it's not difficult. Take your time with it. Don't get nervous. <coughs> then they take you out on a little street test. Um, you basically, <coughs> excuse me, you basically um, obey all the traffic laws. There's nothing really spectacular or special about any of the postal vehicle rules, except for if you're making a left turn, you stay in the left lane. If you're making a right turn, you, you stay in the right lane. You don't cut over, if you know what I mean. Um, basically, got done with that. I was done at 2.30. It's 3 o'clock. I'm almost home. So yeah, man, that wraps it up. So don't let the mental head games bother you. Stay as physically fit as possible. Um, show up for work every day and do your job. And don't let don't let them trying to rush you or hurry you get in. Don't let them get in your head. If you know what I mean. The only person that really can mess this job up for yourself is you. I mean, they may push you. And it may seem strange if they want to push you, if they need people, why are they trying to push you out the door, right? But in some of it's a test. It's a head game. And don't let them get to you. So that's it, guys. I'm almost home. I'm going to wrap this up for today. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. I want to thank everybody for watching Not Timmy 66 Thank you always, as always, thank you for those that have subscribed. And those that haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's free. And, um, yeah, I'll probably post something over this long weekend coming up. I'm looking forward to a little bit of family time after all these postal shenanigans. But that's it for today, man. You everybody take care. Now, Timmy66. Oh, before I forget, no matter what you do in life, make it count. Now, Timmy66. I'm out, guys. Have a good day.